All right, so we're looking at the first part. The first part in the last three years in the differentiation question, they have suggested differentiate some simple function. So we're going to look at those three last three years, 2017, 2016, 2015, mm -hmm. May, June. Um, my neighbor set up a little pattern practice session. They, the way my neighborhood set up. If, if I try to look for a quiet time to record, I will never record. So, if I hear pan in the background, pan and that match does mix it. So in 2017, the skills being tested was product rule and chain rule. We were just given the equation 1 plus 2x cubed, x plus 3. So since we were just given this and asked to differentiate this, we'll need to introduce y into the show. So we would say let y be equal to that. And then we, we, we begin our journey. This is in the form u v where we could say two functions are being um, multiplied by each other, where u is equal to 1 plus 2x to be cubed and v is equal to x plus 3. So immediately we could differentiate v with respect to x and we'll just end up with a nice 1. Because the differential of a constant is 0, differential of x is 1. You should know how to do that. I can differentiate this right away as well. This will be equal to 3 times the differential of what is in the brackets. So 6 by 1 plus 2x to be squared and I drop the index there. Now, I don't think you'll collect your marks if you do it shortcut like this. You would need to show them how to differentiate this using the chain rule because the chain rule is being tested in this question. So this is how you do the chain rule. You'll set u to be 1 plus, what is it, 2x to be cubed. We let a variable be equal to this, the function inside, 1 plus 2x. Now we can differentiate t with respect to x. Since t is equal to 1 plus 2x, that means u is now equal to t to the power of 3. So du dt is 3t to be squared. And now to differentiate this, du dx, we can apply the chain rule. Realizing that is these two differentials we are looking for. 6t squared, but remember that t is 1 plus 2x to be squared, which is the same thing I got here by differentiating it quickly at sight. So there was a tree there that was out this um, shot in case it was wondering, yes, that is a tree in case your OCD was bothering you. Alright, let's go. So now that we have values for u and v and du dx and dv dx, we can just apply the product rule where dy dx is equal to v du dx plus u dv dx. When we substitute, we get this line and that can simplify by factorizing out 1 plus 2x squared to give me this and that can simplify even more into this given that if I expand the brackets and simplify, right? So I'll get this in the end. This is your answer. That's the end of that question. So I already started 2016. In 2016, it was just an application of the chain rule. And you should know that if you have the square root of, let's say we have the square root of x is the same as x to the power of a half. We will actually differentiate y is equal to the square root of 5x squared minus 4. I switched it over into this form, which is neater for what I'm about to do. Then to begin the chain rule process, I let t equal to 5x squared minus 4. Dtx, dt dx is now 10x. And I can now say that since y is equal to t over a half, t to the power of a half, sorry, dy dt would be t to the power of negative a half by a half. So then I hear you talking, I just think it's somebody you're talking to, not as well as yourself. <laughs> not my style, friend. Well, I don't know what's <laughs> So applying the chain rule is going to give us 10x plus a half t to the negative a half. We can break this down to 5x t to the power of a half. This is not add, this is multiply, bro. So 10 by a half is 5x t half, good. Um, and then we have 5x 
this was negative so this should come under here right that's how indices work and we'll finish it off by just putting this back in its square root looking form like that but t is really um 5x squared take away 4 right so we can actually drop him back like that for the final solution and that's the final solution of dy dx so let's really go through 2015 just looking at my notes here the product rule differentiating tricks chain rule all of these were tested in this we had to let y be equal to the function so we set up the product rule u is this v is that differentiate and we need to get this guy here to get what dv dx is we will use v is equal to sine 5x and we'll use a little chain rule sequence here where t is equal to 5x differentiate v is equal to sine t differentiate apply the chain rule and you'll be able to figure out what um, dv is after we have dv dx and du dx you simply apply a product rule v du dx and u dv dx substitute your values and try and neaten it up a little bit here and get your answer very straightforward stuff once you practice your differentiation. So what do you want to take away from this? Every time in the first part of the differentiation question, you'll be certainly tested on the chain rule, product and quotient rule, most likely. Most likely quotient this year since product, product, product down the line, maybe a quotient might jump out this year. Um, you need to know the differentiation matrix, how to differentiate sign, tricks, you know, um, and simple linear um, expressions, equations. And here's a question to try that since we didn't do any quotient, Rule, try this one. See if you can do it. Leave the answer in the comments below. This is from way back, May 2012. So have a go at this one. It's just simple quotient rule, no chain rule involved here. Till next time.